Very good morning, wherever you're doing the listening. This is Odadie Radio. We're coming to you live uh, from uh, the AMC at Presec Legon. And it's another Saturday, and we are here to bring you another edition of our Greek Panorama. It's live uh, on Facebook at Odadie Radio. It's live uh, on our Facebook at Odadie Radio Ghana. We are live on our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe anytime um, on our YouTube channel. Uh, we are so live on radio on uh, the Zeno FM radio app. You can download the Odadie radio app from the Google Play Store or your app store. From now to uh, 12 midday, we are here to discuss issues relating to agriculture. Our Greek Panorama is brought to you in partnership with Nationwide Technologies Limited. Nationwide Technologies Limited are distributors of Sonox Advanced Fuel Conditioner. And uh, they are proud to be in association with us. Agri Panorama generally discuss national issues in agriculture and try, uh, try to bring to the fore all the issues that are affecting the rapid development of the agri sector. To speak and stimulate interest of all other years and other year students in agriculture generally but more importantly to encourage this other year student to take up agriculture as an alternative career option as well as mentor some of these students share the rich experience of other years in agriculture and as well network amongst ourselves to develop ourselves and influence the, na the national agenda in agriculture our Greek panorama is also to discuss new technology and ways or methods to improve food production and other sectors of the agri agriculture economy and related business models. The program will also enable us to tap into the rich experience of some of our program guests to provide information to people um, already in agriculture. So this morning, we are here to bring you another edition and we believe that you stay interactive with us on our social media handles um, that is um, on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter at Odadie Radio. WhatsApp is 0229 My name is Joseph Otu. You can also refer to me as DJ Use. Uh, I'm going to be your co-host. Our main host today is Odadie uh, Mwakun. Hene Kwame and Wakuhene. I'll be handing over to him um, shortly. Um, but before I do that, we will have to acknowledge our sponsors on this program. So I'll take a very brief break to acknowledge our sponsors. And when we return, uh, we'll give you much more details on what we are discussing on our Greek panorama today. So please do stay on.
May I please have your attention for this announcement? Nationwide Technologies Limited is a proud sponsor of our great panorama program on Odadie Radio. Nationwide Technologies Limited, distributors of Sonox Advanced Fuel Conditioner. As an environmentally green product, Sonox is proven to reduce fuel consumption, reduce running costs, reduce emissions, prolong the lifespan of your engine. So Nexeco takes you further, faster, cleaner. Nationwide Technologies Limited is an ISO certified company. Its services include fuel marking, product authentication, ultrasound tank testing, tank stratification, and calibration. To obtain your product, please contact 0540 0541670666. Nationwide Technologies Limited is a proud sponsor of Agri Panorama Program on Odadie Radio. Please stay tuned. Okay, so thank you so much for staying tuned. Uh, Nationwide Technologies Limited, like I said, is proud is proud sponsor of Agri panorama program on Odadi radio and we also use this opportunity to uh, reach out to any uh, organization or institution who would like to partner or sponsor uh, this program and the opportunity is there for you to reach out to us on our number 0229 if you want to sponsor or support this program um, it is welcome so you can reach us on 02092 925. This morning, our topic uh, basically uh, will be on the distribution of plant breeding and seed system to crop production. And uh, at this point, let me um, acknowledge our executive producer, uh, Mr. Johnny Adofeni, and um, all those supporting to make sure this program comes up and comes live to you every Saturday from 10 to 12 midday. And our main host today is Odadie Kwame Amwakohene. Let me as well welcome him. Thank you. Mr. Amwakohene, welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. And um, we have our executive producer also in the house. I need to also welcome him. Thank you. Very much. welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. So, well, um, our guest today, Dr. Maxwell uh, Dako Asante, uh, is joining us via Zoom uh, to discuss all the issues that we have to uh, discuss today relating to our uh, topic for discussion. Remember, you can join us with any comment or uh, contribution via our WhatsApp platform on 0229-9225. So uh, at this point, I'll hand over to our main host to take, take us away. Thank you very much, uh, Joseph. Um, good morning to everybody listening to us. Um, yes, so that your radio, we are here. We are to discuss national issues in agriculture, to, in, to stimulate interest of all our dad years. We share network, we discuss new technologies, and tap into the rich experience of our host. Uh, this morning, we, like you rightly said, we have a topic, the d- contribution of plant breathing and seed systems to crop production. We have as a guest on Zoom, Dr. Maso Dako Asante. Doc, are you online? Yes, I'm here. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we would like to have uh, you a um, small self-introduction. Um, I have here that you are a big man, <laughs> a deputy director and principal research scientist in rice breathing at the CSIR Crop Research Institute in Kumasi. Please, Doc, can you add some more a bit about yourself, your education, and yes. things like that, sir? First, first of all, I have an axe to grind with you. <laughs> hey. Because you, 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 you wrote my name without adding or that year. Hey, what a mistake. Yeah, pardon us, oh, pardon us. I am a full-blooded or daddy. Yes, yes, we should have acknowledged you. 
yes i on that dear dr max or that kwasanti you are welcome yes you are welcome <laughs> <laughs> exactly so uh, by by way of introduction currently as as you mentioned i'm the deputy director of the csir cross research institute okay. so csir is the largest scientific organization in ghana and the Crops Research Institute, where I work and I'm the deputy director of, is the largest of the 13 CSR institutions. Okay, okay. And at Crop Research, we are very big on researching into, into crops and bringing the outcome of our research in, in the form of technologies to, okay. to, to farmers. Okay. We are very big on development of, 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 of new, new crop varieties. So okay. many of the crop varieties that farmers cultivate in Ghana currently are from us and from our sister institution, which is in Temali, uh, called Savannah Agriculture Research Institute. Okay. Yeah, so I'm um, here as a, the deputy director, but I'm also a principal research uh, scientist, and more importantly, I'm a, I'm a rice breeder. Okay. So m m m many of the rice that people cultivate we are the people who, who brought the, the the rice onto the onto the market yeah um i, I did i did my uh form one to five uh o level education at okap my school okay and then i did six form at at Presec mm -hmm. from 90 to 1992 okay and then i've attended all the three big universities in ghana I did first degree at Kivas, uh, masters at uh, KNUST, and then uh, PhD at Waki in, in at 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 Legon. Okay. Wow, wow, wow! Like I said, you big man, Mega. Forgive us. Um, I was trying to have the other day part as a surprise, but uh, <laughs> but it's okay. Thank you. I'm sure you for for giving us for that. Yes, yes. So um. um we have the program line out which uh, we'll try and uh, put it into two parts the first part we'll be looking at the plant breathing uh, yeah. what it is the methods and uh, what, what how is it being done in ghana and hopefully the second part will be about seed systems and uh, yeah. the impact of uh, the in crop production in ghana so just a brief yeah. of what we've been doing here at the Odadia radio over, over the past uh, couple of um, episodes, we have generally looked at food security and the factors that leads to increase uh, food production. You know, we have defined food security as um, the state of having reliable access to a, a sufficient quantity and of affordable, nutritious food. So uh, we've been looking at the efficient quantity of it. Uh, we have looked at mechanization for some time. We've also looked at the nutritious food. So it's not just eating anything, but um, mm -hmm. also that it has to be nutritious. And then we have come to like that uh, you cannot also be planting anything at all. Uh, if you have to have good planting things, um, uh, we need to have good ma planting materials to be successful in the crop production area, in the nutritious area and things like that. That is why today we are looking at the contribution of plant breathing and, and seed systems in the crop production. So, um, so other day Maxwell, when we hello. say, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, so to, when we say plant breeding, what, what, what do we mean by that, please? So, plant breeding is a science uh -huh. of applying genetic principles to improve plants for human use. So, we are just applying the principles of uh, 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 genetics to yeah. improve improve plants can you for, can for, you br for break, break it down but this yeah, ge so, genetics so so, so, yes, yes, so yes 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 so so what it is is, is that you know the life is is made up of uh, a, 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 a dna okay mm -hmm. 
the DNA, the coding portions of the DNA are the genes. So there are instructions in the in the in the in the, in the DNA that gives birth to who who you are. Okay, so there are there are instructions in your DNA that will show whether somebody is a white person or a black person, uh -huh. or, or, or 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 somebody has a, a long nose or or a, a, a broad a broad nose. Okay. So basically, that, that that that's it. Our our DNA controls who who who, who we are. Uh -huh. So the study around the DNA is the, the genetics, and that helps us to be able to manipulate the, the plant in such a way that we we get it for specific use by 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 uh, 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 by humans yeah okay okay so 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 when we say a plant but who, who's a plant breeder, breeder? uh what should yes. be his so, background and uh, since a lot we're talking about dna and things like that. what sort of science is yes going on? yes so so a, a plant uh breeder is, is somebody who comes out with new varieties of 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 of, of plants for human use. Okay. So, for for instance, if we if we want a plant that is re resistant to fall armyworm, I hope I hope, I hope yeah. you guys have heard about the fall, fall mm. armyworm that yes. has yes. been devastating maize fields around the whole of West Africa. Okay. So, what a plant be that does is, is, is that he tries to find. A, a material, another source that has resistance to that that, that particular problem. Then he tries to move the gene mm -hmm. by, uh, by by crossing. So he will, he will look for a maize plant somewhere that has resistance to the gene, but maybe it's not good enough for the farmers to cultivate in terms of okay. their yield and their quality. And then okay. he will cross those those two materials. In so doing, you move the gene for the fall armyworm into the commercial variety okay. that the that, that the farmers are, are, are cultivating. Okay, so in in doing so, he is able to come out with a, a product that is beneficial to farmers uh -huh. and 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 to uh, and to industry. So there is a it's a it's a science that uh, you it is by the nature of what plant breeders do you become a leader okay. because you are supposed to work with a, a team okay a team that supports you so for for instance with a fall army well it's an insect so you need an entomologist okay to to help you identify the disease the disease and to score for the, for the disease okay. if you are if you are breeding for disease resistance you need the support of a of a pathologist okay if you are uh, breeding for for instance, taste. You, okay. you need you need the support of a food a scientist. Okay. So, by by nature, you become a leader because you harness all these sciences okay. to, to to be able to come out with a, a, a variety that farmers want. So you, you have to know genetics, basic genetics in the first place. You have to know by by chemistry. Okay. You, you 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 have to know pathology. That's the the, the study of the diseases. You, you have to know entomology. In these days, you, you even have to know co computer science because we, okay. we we generate a, a lot of data, and and we have to use uh, uh, computers and, and biometrics to and bioinformatics and all that to 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 analyze it. You, you don't have to be an expert in all this, but definitely you have to be very deep. In the knowledge of your genetics and how to apply it to the crop that you are working on. Of course, you have to know the physiology of the crop and the, and the agronomy of the crop. Is but that's the crop. That, the agronomy, if you are working on rice, you, you have to know rice very well. You have to be able to differentiate rice from another crop. And then the, 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 the physiology, because you you are you are supposed to also breed for especially biotic stresses like drought. Okay. Like nitrogen, so you mm -hmm. you have to know what happens in the plant. So it's a very broad science, but you don't have to be an expert in all these areas because you you will be working with a team. Okay. Oh, that that that's interesting. That's a whole broad um, <laughs> teamwork that and a whole area of expertise that um, 
uh, I hope the students listening to, uh, will know uh, how to tap into one area or the other, just to, uh, to be a leader in the brand building. In so doing, you now know how to, you have to learn how to manage people. You, are, you have to be yes. a team player. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a soft skill that you must have mm. to be a good a good plant breeder. Interesting, interesting. So, so what is your goal as a plant breeder, or what what, what are the objects or, or objectives of um, plant breeding? What do you want to achieve? Yes. Yeah, so, in 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 general, a plant breeder simply wants to come out with a variety that meets the needs of the of the of the clients. Uh -huh. Okay. Even if, if even if the client already has a variety, uh -huh. he, you, you you try to give the client a superior one. Okay. Okay. So bas basically, that's that's all we do as 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 as, as plant breeders. So for for instance, I'm a, a rice breeder. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have a, a rice on the market which is very good. M many of the if farmers are listening, they will tell you one one of the best varieties. It's called Agra rice. We, we we release it to the support of Agra, and that's and therefore we named it Agra rice to honor uh, Agra. It's a very good variety, high yielding perfume rice. Okay. But it is so susceptible to some diseases. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, to come out with a better version of Agra, we are incorporating disease resistance for for a particular viral disease called rice yellow motor virus. The, the plant is susceptible to that disease, and we we found we found the, another variety that has resistance to the gene, another rice variety. Mm -hmm. So what the plant breeder would typically do is to cross the two lines. Okay, okay. You, you 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 cross it, and then you go through a process. So once you cross it, you you got you, you get the first generation of it mm -hmm. that's that that is all we usually call f1 the first generation oh, okay. from the parents but you are not there yet okay. if for for a self-pollinated crop like like rice when it gets to the f2 the the students will know it's segregated mendel's law of segregation okay. it will segregate to segregate into many forms because there's there's gene recombination so that it's like it's, to make it simpler. So, for instance, those who, who are familiar with Loto, okay. you see, you can pair you can pair five, five numbers and get 90, 90 combinations. Okay. Okay. So, so that is how it 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 also works at the genetic level. So you you have you have a lot of recombinants which are different individuals. Okay, so those ones you, you you have to go through the process until around the sixth generation, then the plant becomes stable. Then okay. you you are finally able to select the best out of the various recombinants, and then you are now going to increase the seed and test it all over the area that you are you, you are expected to, to release that variety. So if you are releasing the variety over all over Ghana. You are supposed to test it in all the agro e e e ecology. So, as as you can see, it's a long, painstaking yes. process. Yes. Okay. So, for for example, if, if this process that I have described, if you are just doing one cycle a year, to take you six years to come out with the line or the yeah. variety, mm -hmm. then another three years to, to test it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it so it, it it can take you ten years easily to 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 come out with one, one variety. But in, in modern times, we try to hasten the 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 the, the process by applying modern genetic tools. So we, we have something we call marker-assisted selection. It's just that it, it helps you to you, you do the selection at at the DNA level. So, for example, if you are selecting for for aroma, you can take a small sample of a leaf. And go and go to the lab and, and do P PCR. Then you will be able to identify that this gene is is, is, is present here. In so doing, it, it makes your selection more accurate and it hastens it hastens the breeding work. And therefore, you can cut down the time that I've, I've just uh, described. So mm -hmm. breeders go through a long painstaking process, and they end up with different var uh, varieties. 
So in, in rice, you can end up with what we call the inbred variety. It's a self-pollinated crop. So the, its biology is that it pollinates its, itself. But for a crop like maize, it's a cross-pollinated crop. So it loves pollen not, not, not from itself, but from its sister. Okay. okay. So in, in maize, the, the breeding methodology is a little different from from rice because rice it, it, it is self-pollinated so you select an individual and it, you, you, you select the best plant within the population mm -hmm. in rice in, in maize because it takes pollen from its sisters you have to improve the population as a whole mm -hmm. so you, when you are dealing with maize you are dealing with population yes. in, in, we, 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 we'll be getting to the various uh, sort of methods that you use and things like that but i think senior zonda have some yes uh, doc, uh, i wanted to ask a question on uh, uh, when you started talking about how long it takes a breeder to come out with a particular variety yeah. uh, how close are our Ghanaian plant breeders to our farmers uh, how do you, uh, as a breeder, tap into the challenges farmers are facing to offer solutions to them? Exactly. That's, that's a very good question. So breeding, proper breeding is not academic at all. Mm -hmm. So we start by getting in touch with, with the farmers to know the, the challenges that they, they face. So we, we go with our social economies sociologists, rural sociologists, agric economists, together with them, we elicit from the farmers what, the, what their challenges are and what, and, what, and what their preferences are. Actually, we even have a product design team because mm -hmm. uh, 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 breeding is a, is a product de development thing, like what Samsung will have or Toyota will have. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a group of people along the value chain so in, in my product design team, I have the manager of KIS, Corn Irrigation Scheme, where, which is the largest okay. rice irrigation scheme in Ghana. We have a farmer there, we have an aggregator, we have a mailer, everybody along the value chain. Then we all think about what problems the breeders should breed to, 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 to solve. So. Then it, it, it guides it guides what we, what we do. So we are we are always with the farmers, and and, and once we start, we we even have what we call participatory breeding. So they they help us to set the goal of the breeding program. But during during the process of the breeding itself, we also invite Epin to help us with the selection, because you you are not going to grow the the plant yourself as a breeder, even even if you are also a farmer, you you are not going to grow it alone. The whole country is going to grow it. So we, we bring key farmers to help us to do their selection. And when, when we go, and I mentioned earlier that we also do multi-locational trials all yeah. over the country. Yeah. We also, when we get there, we also do field days and we bring farmers in. So they are very much involved in what we do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Doc. Uh, yes, uh, you started mentioning a bit about the method methodology mm -hmm. uh, that you use uh, in breathing. Um, uh, can you just uh, mention uh, a few yeah. more? And then um, I have to ask this controversial one. GMO, okay. is it okay. something, is it also a method or yes, something that. like that? Yes. So just a few okay. and then we can touch on GMO. Okay, so uh, as I said, the, 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 the method depends on the biology of the crop. Uh -huh. Because uh, we have self-pollinated crops, which, which, which means that uh, it, it, the, it, the, pollen, the, the pollen and the, and the, and the ovaries are on the same it's plant, and they, mm. and, and they like to pollinate. They like pollen f from themselves. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. But for cross-pollinated uh, 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 plants, they, they don't like pollen for, from themselves, like maize. Okay. So the, the, in general, for self pollinated crops. The methods help you to identify the individual, a single plant that, that is good. Because once once the plant is good, yeah. you, because it's pollinated itself, you can you, you can replicate it. Okay. Okay. But for the cross pollinated crops, because it takes pollen from another source, you you have to improve the population. Okay. Because it it doesn't work alone. It, it depends on its sister. 
to work. So that, that is just the general difference between breeding cell pollinated crops like rice uh -huh. and breeding uh, cross pollinated uh, uh, crop like maize. But basically, the, 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 so through this means we have different types of uh, 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 cultivars. Okay. okay. So you have in maize we, we have what we call open pollinated uh, uh, plants. Uh -huh. That one it means you you you, you select your lines. You, 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 you grow it in the population and then they pollinate uh, them, themselves. Then we have what we call hybrids. Okay. For the, for the hybrid te te technology, the breeder has gone through a long staking, uh, painstaking process to de de develop what we call inbred lines. So they have gone through uh, 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 the, uh, the process of de 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 developing earlier yes. where, where you cross something and you go through stages cycles of about six so that okay. the, the plant becomes stable it, it, it's become in science you say it has become homozygous at all the low side but it, it just it, it just means that when, when you grow that plant you you get the same thing it, it will not segregate into another form okay. so we we get inbred lines and then scientists have been able to study that even though um even even though uh, maize as a cross pollinated plant does not like pollen from itself, if you force it, if you self it uh -huh. for, for a long time, it, it becomes an inbred. But be, okay. be, 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 because by nature it doesn't like pollen from itself, it, it becomes a very small, lousy plant. Okay. But when you when you now cross the two inbred lines, which are small, lousy plants, immediately. They now you, you now become you, you, the, your your progeny or the offspring is now a very big plant and that is what we call hybrid. So okay. the the hybrid technology is is the is the progeny of two parents, which is called the F1, the first generation. So okay. if you want to grow hybrids, the technology, the value of the technology is just based on the first generation. So every time you you, you have to go for new seeds. Okay. from the person who, who, who developed the variety. Okay. And in Ghana, our, our agric ministry is encouraging us, especially for maize, to grow hybrids because the, the hybrids are higher yielding than the open, open pollinated varieties. In, in America, they started doing hybrids in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's, it's all, it's all hybrids there. So, so those are the, the hybrids. And then the ones that you, you can recycle the seed are the open, are the open pollinated uh, uh, var var varieties. I don't know whether you want me yeah. to move on to the GMO. Uh, 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 to quickly, I just want to ask a question quickly. So as this process is going on, how do you, for example, um, within the breeding, identify that this particular uh, seed or plant is going to be resistant to this particular disease that we are you know that maybe plagues that particular variety yes yes that's that that's an excellent question that's an excellent question so uh, as i said before we start breeding we set goals that we, we want a particular variety that yield for instance at least six tons and it's resistant to a certain or tolerant to a certain disease and that's why all this teamwork is involved yeah so we we actually test for it so for, for instance if you are breeding for disease resistance at a point in time you actually have to do artificial inoculation mm -hmm. if it's okay. if it's, if you are breeding for four armyworm and uh, you you have to grow it in a net house and actually introduce the oh. the, the insects okay. or, or onto the plant and see the ones that are resistant to it and then you can select those those ones so along the line we actually do we actually test for it if if you are breeding for drought you you have to subject it to drought stress if you are breeding for nitrogen use efficiency you, you have to subject it to low nitrogen okay. if you are breeding for disease resistance you have to subject it to that disease you are breeding for insect resistance you have to subject it for for, for to that insect yes before you can do the the selection yes okay. thank you okay uh well, that's a whole lot of job and a whole lot of technicalities and things <laughs> like that but uh let's go to this uh, gmo uh, is it yes. one of the methods and uh, 
and uh, you cannot why 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 is it so confusing and controversial the controversy it shouldn't it shouldn't be at all so all as as i described before you usually don't have the trace or all the trace you want in in a particular line so we always that's what we do all the time as breeders so we we look for for, for what we call germplasm. So the the place where we even keep plant material that may be useful to us is called a gene bank. So it is it is our bank where we actually take materials that that will be useful for for the breeding program. So for example, if I'm dealing with rice, I cross rice with 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 rice i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm getting there I want, I, want, I want people to understand yes so so if i as as i described earlier that our agra rice is susceptible to rice yellow mortal virus mm-hmm. luckily luckily i found a rice variety from i think it's from mozambique okay. that has resistance to rice yellow mortal virus so i'm just crossing rice to rice Okay. So I, I can do the, the traditional crossing. We call it conventional breeding. Okay. And then through the, the, the process that I mentioned, I can move the gene from that variety to agrar rice. So I'll have very good agrar rice that also has resistance to, to the gene. Okay. But the, there will be another challenge. So for, 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 for instance, there is a disease outbreak. Mm-hmm. And I, can't, I cannot find any source of resistance in rice. Okay. Okay then I have come to a dead end mm-hmm. because the breeding de- depends on variation. If there's, not, if there's no variation for the trait, you, you can't breed for, for it. So that's where the, the, the GMOs come in. Mm-hmm. It, then you, you can, it, it helps you to introduce foreign DNA from another, from another source. So okay. for, 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 for instance, um, uh, there's a disease called rust. Is, is the biggest disease for wheat. Okay. Um, millions, even billions of dollars have, have, been, have, have been used to fight rust. So rust affects all cereals. Uh-huh. It, it, have, it affects barley, wheat, maize, but it doesn't affect uh, 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 rice, even okay. though rice is also a cereal. So uh, 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 scientists can study and know what is in rice. What is in rice that prevents rice from affecting just rice, uh, but but it's it, it able to affect the other cereals but cannot affect rice. But so if you identify that gene in rice, you cannot cross rice to maize because they are they are different they are they are different kind of plants. In in so doing, the only way you can transfer that gene is, is to use a means in the lab. So w- using that means, which is basically a tissue culture means, to incorporate the DNA from the rice mm-hmm. into the maize, okay? Okay. In, b- because, because it is not, it, it, it is not rice DNA, but you have transferred a foreign DNA mm-hmm. from another source to, to help you have a, a certain effect. Mm-hmm. That, makes it a GM. So you, you have, it, it's just the incorporation of a foreign DNA into your plant for, for a certain purpose. Because usually, usually you don't have strong enough variation for that trait okay. for, you, for, for you to breed for it. So for us breeders, it's just one of the tools in the toolbox. Mm-hmm. That, that 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 you use, but once you you incorporate it into it, it makes it makes it a very powerful technology, because okay. it means that you theoretically you can move a, a foreign DNA from practically any source okay. into your into your into your source. So in order to make sure that it, it is con- controlled, so that a, a crazy scientist can cannot use it to do to do something crazy. Once you say you are working on GMOs. You, 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 you come under what we call the national biosafety laws. Okay. It, it is not because the technology or the product itself is bad, but it is because of the power of the technology. Okay. So like if you, it's like you, you have a car 
-hmm. That can run uh, 300 kilometers per hour. But on this Ghana rules, if mm -hmm. you do that, you are, you, you are, you are going to die. So, so they, will, they, they, they will put speed limits okay. on the road okay. so, so that you don't mess up. Okay. So, the, so once you are doing GMOs, because of the power of the technology, it comes under National Biosafety Authority. Mm -hmm. And Biosafety Authority will scrutinize what you are doing and make, and make sure that you are doing uh, uh, protein analysis, compositional analysis, environmental analysis to make sure that it is safe before you can give to a farmer. So, so the, the processes you go through are so stringent that I can tell you that any GMO that comes on the market is, is even safer than the conventional one we do. So it is just one of the two boxes, just that you, you, you are now using DNA from another source, so foreign mm -hmm. DNA into, into your plant. Okay, so it's, it's just like uh, the control of this uh, nuclear things that we have. You can have nuclear, you can use it for safety things, and you can use it for other bombs and other things that is being controlled. So what is yes. causing yes. what so is yes. causing yes. what is causing mm -hmm. the the anxiety and the uh, doubts people yes. have? What is causing oh, it? Oh, oh, yes. Because if the explanation well, you are giving us is that simple, yes. why are people so you know doubtful? It, why are they? So confused. Exactly. Uh, 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 no, uh, no, uh, have, please open up no, the have, G, G, have, uh, GMA, the GMO. What, what, what does it stand for? Just yeah, so that we know. Genetically uh, modified. Uh, uh, genetically modified. modified, 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 modified uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So if, if if it's plants, you can say the genetically modi modified plants. It's simple. Okay. It just it just means that you have introduced a, a foreign DNA mm. from another source. Mm. Okay. Yes. As, as I mentioned to you earlier, is the DNA that that is the instruction for the for the protein that makes us who who, who we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the DNA gives instruction for 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 a certain protein to be produced so that it, it will show whether somebody is white or black. The okay. trait in, in breeding we call it, it it gives you the character. Okay, so that that makes somebody's head big and somebody's head hair small. But to to the question, okay. yes, it it is not strange that people have an issue with G, G, GMO because uh by nature they f they feel that it is not natural okay, okay. you are you, you are moving that that is not how god made it you are moving a gene from rice into maize that that is not how god made it but but the dna is the same in 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 in, in every organism so if if the if the sequence of dna code for a certain trait in in the, in rice you can you can study that 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 that, that part of the of the DNA, clone it and move it into maize, and and, the, and it's not any strange process. It's it, it just inserted into the cell in in the lab, and the cell is grown into a, a full plant. And it's tissue culture. We do tissue culture things all all the time. So it is it is because people feel that. Uh, you, you have taken something foreign, mm -hmm. and you have uh, and you have put it into something else. But as I, I, as I told you, it is the same DNA, and there's no cause for alarm at all. GMOs have been eaten for the last thirty years, and there's okay. no no association between GMO plants and uh, and, uh, and 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 cancer for 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 instance. In fact, you you know some some countries in in in, in Europe. Uh, they do not affect they do not accept gmo so countries yes. like new zealand and uh, so um, and uh, in the north new zealand and other but if, if you check the countries with the highest number of of cancer the highest uh, number of cancer in those countries america is, is not among the the, the 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 top five five okay you are america is the country that that uses a lot of GMO. So, so those things are not are not true. Another fallacy is that if we if we grow GMOs, it means foreign companies will, will control our seed. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 working. I I, I even work on GMO rice. Okay. Okay. The the rice I'm working on is a is a is an inbred variety. You can recycle your seed as mm -hmm. many as you want until until you you are ready to renew it. The, the the technology that is based on the on the F1 that that's the hybrid that I I, I, I described that one you must always buy seed but that one it can be GMO or non GMO 
Okay. The, you, you can have a conventional hybrid, which is not a GM. It, mm. it, it, the, the strength of the technology is based on the first generation. So you must always go for go for six. six. So there's no cause for alarm at all. In fact, we have we have been eating GMOs in, in Ghana. Because okay. all the cereals, all the cereals that you buy from the supermarket from the from the Western countries is mainly GM GM rice. A, 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 a canola oil that people think is healthy. Is is okay. canola is about it's, uh, around the world is about 100 uh, percent GM being grown. So we have been eating it for, for the past 30 years, and there's no association between it and any 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 diverse uh, effect. Okay, so yeah. let, let me let me just throw this in because it looks, or I think that a lot of the farmers have been worried that the, you know the seeds that they have been using over the years will um, sort of uh, be extinct and mm. go out of uh, what do you call it uh, uh, existence existence mm. and, and yes. basically and it would mean they would have to constantly buy uh, uh, um, seeds you know some also believe that it would affect because you are talking about cross pollination and self pollination once you start using GMO seeds they will lose you know these uh, self pollinating crops that mm. have uh, helped us to survive all these years what do you have to say to that yes so as i as i as i mentioned earlier firstly the breeders themselves need variation to breed so if you are breeding for something and there's no variation for it so if, if you are breeding something for instance for <laughs> for height and all the plants you have is, is the same height, mm -hmm. then you have come to a dead end. So uh, the breeders themselves have more stake in, in protecting diversity than any other place. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we have what we call the, the, the gene bank. So the, for example, we have a whole institute at, at, at Bunsu, the Plant Genetic uh, Resources Research Institute, mm -hmm. where we collect all these plants, all these germplasm from from farmers uh, and, and from the field in general and keep it there for 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 future use so so that's one part of of, of it the other part of it is is that not just uh, 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 gmos but once you start breeding for a, a variety okay at a, 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 and the variety is very high yielding uh, the likelihood is that many farmers mm -hmm. will now cultivate those mm -hmm. those uh, 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 those varieties. So it, it, it is true that th there is a little bit of a threat in terms of the, the, uh, the diversity. It, but that comes from from the fact that if a variety is very good, many people stop what they already are cultivating okay. and and cultivate that that variety. Yeah. But, but uh, 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 that aside, it 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 it, it 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 does not mean that any farmer is stopped from 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 cultivating other 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 other, other varieties. Okay, so on the field, uh, practically on the field, mm -hmm. diversity still exists on the on the on on the field. And and talking about uh, G, 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 GMOs and whether. Is pollen will pollinate something mm -hmm. and, and changes the yeah. genetic makeup. Mm -hmm. As I said before, if you are working on GM, on GMOs, you, you come under the National Biosafety Authority, and all these uh, uh, environmental challenges about the 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 pollen and its effect on other plants and things will be tested before you are allowed to 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 release the GM variety. So there's 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 no cause for alarm at all. Well, if you open the lines for farmers right now, they will tell you that their diversity still still exists, and they are and their crops are not are not are not challenged. Oh. And and uh, as I said, scientists them, themselves have collected all this diversity and kept it in a in a gene bank because we we only have a worldwide one which is based somewhere. In, in in Norway, they have put it yeah. close to the North Pole, so that if something if something happens on the Earth and we lose our diversity, we can all go back and bring diverse plants for 
for our breeding and for and for cultivation. Mm. Wow. What about the 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 fact that they are, they, they claim that GMO varieties need feti- so, uh, specific fertilizers to allow them to be able to give you that high yielding. Uh, uh, no. And then the dependency on these. I mean, there is there, there's, there's therefore the dependency on these fertilizers all the mm. time. We have to keep buying them if you use GMO. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, the the truth is that let me let me just lay lay the ground rules. Mm. The truth is that in the the soils that, that we have, especially in Africa, they are very depleted. Okay. So okay. even if you you grow a, a heritage variety that your your ancestor gave it to you 200 years ago and you do not apply fertilizer you, you cannot you cannot have an industry ar- around it we, we won't go hungry i'm i'm, I'm just i'm just telling you the, the plain truth so fertilizer is a very important part of agriculture anywhere that agriculture has bloomed you cannot do it without fer- fertilizers that that's that's just the plain truth so so coming so it is not a gmo issue our conventional one that, that we do, our conventional hybrids, they require very high quantities of fertilizer. Mm-hmm. Even the open pollinated varieties mm-hmm. and the farmer varieties, you can you can let farmers pour in. If you don't apply fertilizers, you 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 will not get to get the yield. Mm-hmm. So it is not because it is GMO. In fact, the GMOs rather, the the, the GMO that I'm I'm working with is is nitrogen use efficient rice. That that rice rice has rather been modified okay. with a gene from barley to make it to, to make it use nitrogen more efficiently. So rather you, you can add less nitrogen to it and you still get a yield. So you you, you can rather engineer plants through GMO to to use let it less. use less 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 fertilizers. Yeah, very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask yes, you yeah. uh, uh, this: mm-hmm. What can we do for our farmers? You know to accept this gmo concept that will lead to a high level of production because it looks as if without that you know actually i don't think the problem is with, is with the farmers if okay. you are if you okay. are if you are close to farmers as i am with them they just want something that works in the field okay so our our colleague in asari uh, jerry you, you, may, you may have to talk to him one of these days. Okay. He is he's coming out with a, a GM bar, uh, variety, okay? That is able to resist, resist an insect, okay? okay. And, uh, an, an insect which is very devastating to cowpea. Cowpea is beans, beans, the, the one yeah. we use for water. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cowpea, ca, ca, so he, 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 he has come out with that uh, variety that you you, you you will not so the farmers virtually spray about six times and and, and cowpea is just eight weeks and sometimes even eight eight times so virtually you are carrying a knapsack mm-hmm. every week mm-hmm. and spraying your cowpea otherwise mm-hmm. you don't get any yield mm-hmm. and that is not good for the environment mm-hmm. it's not good for your health but the the one that jerry has engineered to 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 be able to withstand this particular insect. They, they will just spray two two times against other other insects. And I'm 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 saying this because on the field, the farmers have seen it and they want it. They don't care whether it's GMO or no, or non GMO. They yeah. just want something that works on the field. They mm-hmm. cannot wait to to have it because actually in truth, I I, I know that some somebody so, some of them have even stolen the seed <laughs> before, we, before we release it. It officially to them so this thing is is, is media thing i'm telling mm-hmm. you i'm telling you the truth this okay. thing about gmo is about media it's media mm-hmm. people and um, um, people who say they are some farmers organization who are not actually in the field mm-hmm. who are who, who are creating the thing mm-hmm. but I'm, I, I can assure you that so the way to go about it is to put it in the in the field and to let the farmers see that it works and there will, and there will be no issue yeah. Wow, wow, wow. This, uh, I think that the, the, the GMO <laughs> issue would have. You said we should speak to Jerry Asari, right? No, it's no, not Jerry, Jerry Asari. It's a, yeah, we'll get <laughs> he's, the details. he's a scientist in, 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 in Sari, the Dr. Jerry Imbo, Imboini. Oh, I heard uh, Jerry I Asari. Can, <laughs> uh-huh. it's, okay. it's called Jerry Imboini. He can, he can talk to you about the product that he has developed and, and, <laughs> and how farmers are, are on his neck to give him the product. So if people 
sit on radio and say uh, farmers don't like they, they don't know what they, what they are saying um, I, I, I can assure you that I, I know the farmers have already stolen the seed so I, and and that re, and that variety was released the same type of variety was released in Nigeria la, last year now they they cannot even meet the the, the demand of the seed mm. the farmers have bought all the seed okay. Okay. because they know it works okay this uh, plant breathing issue uh it's taking a lot of uh, yeah we have we have more to go yeah we have more to go but we'll take a break now and then when we come back we will continue. be talking and continue about how we get everything before people start stealing all the seats <laughs> 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 let's take a break now and then we re we come back thank you very much all right so you're still listening to a Greek panorama remember to join us with your uh, comments on zero two thousand nine two nine two five if you have any questions comments or contributions please send us to our whatsapp number zero two thousand nine two nine two five our greek panorama is brought to you in partnership with nationwide technologies limited nationwide technologies limited distributors of Cernox advanced fuel conditioner as an environmentally uh, green product Sonox is proven to reduce fuel consumption, reduce running cost, reduce emissions, um, prolong the lifespan of your engine. So Nexaco takes you further, faster, and cleaner. Nationwide Technologies Limited is an ISO certified company. Its services include um, fuel marking, product authentication, ultrasound tank testing, tank stratification, and calibration remember to obtain um, your Sonox product please contact 0540-120-694 or 0541-670666 Nationwide Technologies Limited is a proud sponsor of agri panorama on Adadia radio we are live on facebook we are live on youtube you can send us your comments or join us in our live chat um, and we'll uh, share your thoughts with the rest of the world please stay tuned on Facebook at Odadia Radio. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Odadia Radio. You can WhatsApp or call us on 0202 <laughs> Vice 
You are listening to the live streaming of Odadia Radio. May I please have your attention for this announcement? Are you an Odadia? Are you looking for that opportunity here on Odadia Radio to reach out the many Odadias out there? Let your schoolmates and your targeted clients know of your products and services. Here on Odadia Radio, we shine the light on all that other dears are involved in across the globe. Come and support us and let's reach out to all other dears through our medium to know your business and services. To all other dears and other stakeholders who wish to offer their support to other dear radio should please call or WhatsApp us on 0200-29295 or call us on 030 255-1014. You can also reach us on our social media platforms at Odadi Radio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Send us an email at odadiradio at gmail.com or visit our studio at the Presec Alumni and Mentorship Center AMC on the Presec Campus Legon, Accra. Odadi Radio, shine the light. Thank you for your attention and please stay glued to Other Dear Radio. May I please have your attention for this announcement? Nationwide Technologies Limited is a proud sponsor of our great panorama program on Odadie Radio. Nationwide Technologies Limited, distributors of Sonox Advanced Fuel Conditioner. As an environmentally green product, Sonox is proven to reduce fuel consumption, reduce running costs, reduce emissions, prolong the lifespan of your engine. So Nexeco takes you further, faster, cleaner. Nationwide Technologies Limited is an ISO certified company. Its services include fuel marking, product authentication, ultrasound tank testing, tank stratification, and calibration. To obtain your product, please contact 0540 0541670666. Nationwide Technologies Limited is a proud sponsor of Agri Panorama Program on Other Day Radio. Please stay tuned. Odadia Radio. Like us on Facebook at Odadia Radio. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Odadia Radio. You can WhatsApp or call us on 0200 0929925.
Welcome back, welcome back um, to Other Day Radio. It's a Greek pa- panorama. Uh, we've been on the topic the contribution of plant breathing and seed systems to crop production. We've been talking to Odadie, Odadie Dr. Masurako Asante, who is the Deputy Director and Principal Research Scientist at Rice Breathing at the CSIR Crop Research Institute in Kumase. We've been uh, actually talking about uh, plant breathing uh, and we have we have done a lot to the breather the background is actually a teamwork of uh, a whole lot of um, let's say uh, study groups and engineers and uh, pathologists and, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> people, people, people from various disciplines yes yeah. various disciplines various to just to have uh, plant breathing uh, We've talked about the, some of the me, uh, methods that they're using, uh, self-breathing, uh, cross-breathing, and things like that. And then we touched on our GMO, which is another method. Uh, 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 doctor, doctor explained it's just from another, uh, not the same species from somewhere to, to just enhance our um, seeds and the quality of our uh, uh fruits and uh, cereals and things like that so uh we're here to continue a bit of it so yeah do you have some yes i was going yeah. yeah so we missed one important uh, uh, question which i really wanted to bring back uh doc what has been the history of plant breeding really in ghana i mean when did it start and principally yeah. who are the people who have been doing it uh who are the regulators uh, can any can any farmer just walk to any plant breeder to say oh uh, alter this plant variety for me you know there, yeah. there must be some checks and balances so can you just give us the history of plant breeding in Ghana and who regulates it and all that sort of thing well yes so well so plant breeding has been around in Ghana from the 1960s if if not if not earlier but at, at that time I think there were only few 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 breeders so the ar- around the world there are people who who do plant breeding okay uh about three groups of 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 people you, you have institutions like us which we, which is called uh, nas N- 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 national agricultural research S- 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 systems uh, we can even call it NARIS and and extension systems, and we can include even the investors who who have the the background to be able to breed these varieties. And then we have international organization. We have a whole set of international organizations that that focus also on agricultural research we call them the consultative group on in, or, 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 or on international agricultural research okay so those and or in short we call them the cg centers so when plant breeding uh, began in ghana what was happening that's from the 1960s uh, uh, downwards so the what the plant breeders did was to take lines they develop at the international center varieties developed at the international center because that is what the, the international centers were, were set up for so big organizations like rockefeller ford and more and more recently bill and melinda gates foundation usaid they put a lot of money in, in these international centers then they help them to develop lines that they think can cover a, a wide area so may, maybe they'll have a program for west africa they'll have a program for latin america a program for uh, so that then then the breeders there because i as i described to you uh breeding is very expensive yeah. so then the they do a part they start a part of the breeding there then when the lines are stabilized then the, the breeders in the in the various countries take those materials and test them and then if, if, if they find something that is good, they select them and, and, and give them to the farmers. So that is how it, it, it started. So there, there's a lot of 
cooperation, especially between us and IIT. IIT is one of the international research organizations which is based in Ibadan in Nigeria, and CIMIT, which is based in, in, in Mexico. So we, we have worked with them a lot, especially when it comes to maize. But also, even for cassava, we have worked with organizations as far as SIAT in, in Colombia. So we work closely with these international organizations that bring in lines for us to test. But as time, as time went on, and especially beginning in the 80s, uh, Ghanaian scientists be, 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 be began to start their own, their own breeding programs. That just means that you are making your own crosses uh, and developing the lines your, 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 yourself. So at this stage, we still cooperate with the international organizations because that that is international for everybody around the world to to use there there's also one uh, called africa rice it's, it's based in ivory coast our government actually co contributes to to it so we, we work with this international organization but at the same time these days we also generate our own materials from here right from the scratch and test it okay so farmers farmers as you as i mentioned earlier they advise us on, 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 on what to do. We are constantly in touch with them. They will, they will tell you that, look, this variety is very good, but when, when you cook it, it's a, it's a little too hard. What, what, what can you do about it? And that is a problem with the starch, the, the portion of the amylose content and amylopectin content. And that, as a breeder, you can improve it for the, for the end user. But actually, these days, industries, Industries can commission breeders to develop specific, specific varieties for them. So, like some of this 1B1F, they, they, they develop uh, maize grits and they, they develop things for industry, for baby cereals and things. So, they, they, will, they will require a particular variety. You, you can contract a breeder for the breeder to develop that variety for you. So, the, the history is that it started around the 1960s with. The initially, it was just lines coming in from the international centers, and then we, we, we testing it. But between starting from the late 80s up to now, we are now making our own courses and, and developing our own lines and, and meeting the needs of our clients in Ghana. Yeah. Very well. um, I had a question from uh, Emmanuel Wule. Uh, I think you've partialized. He, he, he was asking, how much support do you have from local industries or uh, government and does your unit have all the necessary equipment to do uh, this crop breathing uh, exercises you are taking? Yes, it's a, it's a very good question. We, we do not have enough at all. We are just struggling every day to, to, to make sure that we are, we are able to do what, what we have to do. Because as I told you, breathing is product development. So you, 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 you cannot break it. Every time there's there's something in the pipeline. This one is not the the Ghana pipeline that nothing nothing <laughs> can do. This one this one is a proper breeding pipeline. So if I, I if I come out with something something this year, immediately there's something that is following that one. That, that's that's how breeding works. We we works it works in cycles. So you are, you cannot stay one year without doing anything. In fact, if if you develop lines and you don't use them. There's a threat of even losing their their viability and, and you losing it. So it, it requires a lot of resources, and we are not getting enough at all from from government. So for, for instance, planting for food and jobs never really had any component for 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 research. It's true they had a, they had a component of seed where they they contracted us to do the early generation seed. So we'll come to the seed part. Yeah soon and you, and you understand it further so planting for we're providing early generations which is small quantity of seed and then seed companies will multiply and give and give it to to farmers but there should have been a component for the breeding itself mm -hmm. and and we don't get it so so we sit up midnight 2 a.m i'm i'm i'm, I'm sitting down writing to donors writing proposals mm -hmm. to 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 get monies to be able to develop varieties for our farmers um industry should have come in but as you know industry in ghana is still very weak yeah. and therefore they are not willing to contribute so much to to research occasionally they bring some materials 
and, and the access to 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 release for them and, and they contribute a little bit of money but we are we are always struggling that's that that's just the truth wow <laughs> okay, okay so i i have a, a i think you, ta yeah. you touch on two things um about support but also collaboration you know exactly. so my first question is that what's the level of collaboration between breeders for example waki and csir yes. Uh, oh, the yes. second one um, will be what is the process of selecting a farmer who uh, plants for the breeder yeah. you know or, or the planting materials you know so i know like for example with maize there are some selected farmers who actually produce the seeds that is spread around the mm -hmm. whole country you know what yeah yeah so as i mentioned earlier breeding is teamwork you, mm -hmm. you, you just cannot do it alone. so so there, there's a lot of collaboration uh, be, between us and other institutions, e even internationally. So because I, I, as I mentioned to you earlier, breeding is based on diversity or, or, or variation in, in your material, in the materials that you are, you, are, you are using. So if you are breeding for a certain character or trait and you don't find it in your station or in your germplasm, you necessarily have to take it from your friend. So we, we, we actually have networks. So I'll be going to Senegal next Saturday. It's a network of rice breeders from the whole Africa. Mm -hmm. We interact, we share materials amongst, uh, amongst mm -hmm. ourselves. And within in-country, mm -hmm. many of the people in the, in the university, students and things, they can never finish a degree in, in plant breeding or any of the plant sciences without, without working with a CSIR scientist. Well, we, we have a lot of the materials, mm -hmm. and then they will, they will have to come and work with us. So we collaborate with Waki. As, as I told you, I'm an alumni of Waki. I'm a, a first cohort from Waki. So we, we really work closely. If, if, you, if, you, if you are looking for a, a discipline where you, you really, of, of necessity, have to collaborate with, a, with another person or institution to succeed, it's, it's, it's breeding. Without it, you cannot succeed. Yeah. So my, my second my, my, my second question was the selection of the farmers. How how does that happen? Yes. So if you so it is two two way during during the breeding pro, pro, process we have we, we work with the farmers all, all the time. So we have key farmers who are very no, not knowledgeable because we have been dealing with them for a long time. So as I said, we do participatory breeding. So sometimes we select these key farmers and bring them from even all over the country to even our station to, okay. to come and help us select the things that are on the field. Select with, with us. Will you like this one? And why will you not like this one? Select the best and, and select the ones that you want us to even throw away. Tell, tell us. So that is during the breeding process. But once the variety is 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 developed we have people we call seed growers mm -hmm. okay Th those ones they they have to be registered with mofa ministry of Agriculture. they have a unit they call plant plant protection and regulatory services mm -hmm. you 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 have to go and register there that you want to be a seed grower mm -hmm. then once you're a seed grower you, you can come to us and buy and buy the early generation seed and then you, you can multiply and sell a seed. seed. So that one, that one is a business, okay. and you, you 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 have to do it under regulation. You, you have to take a certificate from from Mofa. Okay, and uh, I, I believe this one uh, my just uh, about breeders and uh, the collaboration you're saying. Um, this collaboration with um, agri engineers because uh, we have said that um, to. A mechanization is something that is uh, important for uh, yes. growing a bit more. Uh, but I think, yes. um, do we t do you collaborate with um, the equipment manufacturers? I'm saying that because I think once uh, we had the problem, the seed size was too small to fit into yeah. a drill, yeah. or sometimes I think it was rice. Uh, you know, rice, yeah. uh, the combine harvester just touches it and then it disperses yeah. uh, yeah. because yeah. it has to hold before the rim, uh, the, you know, this type of thing. Is there any collaboration with uh, especially agri engineering and uh, manufacturers of um, uh, agri equipment well, and things well, like that? 
we do we do most of the times when they are trying this this machines especially at the student level did they come for our seat and, and use it but i must add that it is it is something that we should we, we, we should really strengthen it's also because the machinery industry in Ghana is not very well developed. So maybe that would be one of the challenges. But it's, it is something as a as a, a a person who is involved in, in research ma management in Ghana, I personally taken an interest in it, mm -hmm. and we are beginning to work more 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 closely with the engineers because it's so 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 important because it is not just about the seed mm -hmm. it is about the fact that we, we have to be able to mechanize agriculture yes. so that the the output should be higher so it is something that we do but we are, we are not doing it enough we, we, we have to do more okay uh so this brings us to uh maybe the seed proper now uh if yes. uh, zona, do you have any about breathing or um, go? Well, no well um you know you 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 had a, a a question there which I thought, you know, would be interesting for to hear Doc's uh, 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 thoughts on it. That uh, plant breeding is employed to make seed manufacturers rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to well, ask Prof, is that the is, yeah. is that part of the reason? Let, let me expand it a bit because yeah. you said you mentioned some few Bill Gates and <laughs> things like that, and I think it was some uh, sort of a video up uh, in this social media. Uh, about the inability to be able to grow um, to use your seeds again and things like that I think you did mention them and things like that and the whole thing is that yeah. it's just for you you guys to get more money because we are we always have to come and buy seeds and buy seeds from you yeah. and then uh, yeah. and then add to the fertilizer also which mm -hmm. is not being produced so in yeah. effect uh, you are just uh, it's a ploy to make you uh, seed manufacturers and breed it very rich. <laughs> what, what would you say to this? <laughs> I wish I wish I was I was very rich. <laughs> um, I'm uh, I'm I'm highly educated, but 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 not very rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so this this is how it is. There is a there there are public breeding organizations like like us, okay. which is set up by the by by, by the government. And even the, the international ones I talked about, yeah. it's set up by governments and donor organizations. So the whole thing about us is that we, most of the products that we come out with is for public good. Okay. So we, we all the stress that I'll go through to write proposals and release varieties, I, I don't even get any royalties for it. Oh. It is it is just given to farmers uh, free of charge. It is it is just recently that we we pass a law that people who use it to make money okay. should, should should pay something back to 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 the to the breeding program because as as I told you, breeding is a is a continuous process. It's a it's a product de development. You, you don't stop. So you you, you always need money. To, to to do it, so we 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 we, we pass a, a plant breeders' rights bill so that people use it to make money because people are making a lot of money out of our sweat, mm -hmm. but virtually because we are a government organization, we are not getting anything out out of it. So so the the first one is that organizations are, are like us are set up for public good, okay. and therefore we are not set up for profit. We are set up to, so that farmers needs are meant mm -hmm. but is there's there's also a, a a plant breeding industry around around the world where where uh, uh, companies are set up for 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 profit purposes mm -hmm. so plant okay. plant breeding is, is also a business no 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 two ways about that okay. so somebody you, 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 you in the studio can decide to set up a seed co company mm -hmm. and and come and tell me to, to, to breed a certain variety for for you i'll charge you and therefore when you are when when you take the seat and go and multiply it you, you can't take it for 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 free okay because you have to recoup your 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 investment okay, okay. so plant breeding is is also a, a business that people can set up and, and make money in fact 
I'm, en I'm encouraging a, a, a lot of the other dear guys to be either plant breeders or seed scientists okay. and set up in industries on their own because th these days you can't find jobs. So you, you go to a place like a drag and set up a seed and produce a lot of seed and, and set up a, a, a unit in Accra to come and sell seed because okay. it's an, you invest into it okay. and, and you sell it. But it is not from the angle of this conspiracy theory mm -hmm. that people come with that there's a um, terminator gene yeah. that uh, mm -hmm. because of the terminator gene you you cannot grow uh, plants again you you you, you, you are under the control of some multilateral organization somewhere is 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 not it, 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 it's not true mm -hmm. it's, it, okay, it's not so, true. So somebody play somebody played with some terminator something in a lab it was never commercialized so people confuse that with hybrids and I'm, I've told you that for hybrids, the, the strength of the technology is based on the first generation. Yeah. And therefore, even, even that one, it, it is not true that you cannot plant it again. Yeah. For your hybrid, when you plant and you get good yield in the F1, you can actually plant the, the seed again. It will germinate. It's not true that it will not germinate. Okay. But because it, it, get, it gets into the F2, Mendel's law of segregation, I'm, I'm saying this because uh, uh, the, uh, the, the students learn about it. Mm. Yeah. Mendel's law of segregation will come in and you have all kinds of or, uh, genotypes okay. in the F2. And therefore, you are not going to get the yield uh, 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 that you had in the F1. It will germinate, but you, you will not get the same pro productivity. Mm. Okay, so Doc, you, 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 you came back to the question I asked earlier on. You know where you are saying that you are encouraging people to get into plant breeding and you can turn it into a business. And my earlier question was, can any farmer or a person ask a breeder to, to do a variety for them? And if this happens on a larger scale, you know, who regulates and checks what breeders are doing? Oh, the, yes, a, a, farmer, a, farmer, a, a farmer can come and ask that a variety, you, you ask for a variety, especially when you are a rich farmer. And you and, 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 you, and you can pay for it. You can pay for for, for the development of the variety because there are rich farmers around. So, for, for example, if somebody like Zoom Lion is entering into farming and, and he wants me to develop a variety, I will have to charge him for my for my expertise and, and my and, and my time. But if if you are talking about peasant farmers, yes, we 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 do, we do that for them. But as I said, in, at that level. It is organized as a group. So we, we go there, we talk about their problems. And they ask us that we want this, we want to see this level of resistance, we want to see the variety that is tolerant to drought and all that. And that is what we work, we work with. And release it back to the, to, to the farmer. So once, once, once it gets to the farmer, and now we are getting into the seed. We, we, yes. we, you have a formal seed system a non-formal seed system. A farmer can decide to to recycle the seed. Mm -hmm. Farmer saves seed. So he can grow it and, and recycle it. But the formal seed system that the government has laid down, they will have to buy certified seeds seed. from a certified mm. seed grow, grower. So those are the two. But don't, don't, you see, are, don't you see inherent dangers in like people, what? I mean, in people uh, 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 going to individual breeders to breed for them, don't you see any inherent danger? Because, because you could have rogue, no, no, you could have no, rogue no, breeders. No, no, no. Not at all, because you know, you, you, you know what happens. Breeders have thousands of lines, because just it, it, just one cross, you have a lot of uh, 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 permutations. As I as I use the loto, loto numbers to explain. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 if somebody comes even to say that, breed this variety for me, and, and I want it for, for myself, and we, we can do that. And then there are many other thousands of lives that somebody who, who cannot pay for it can, can, can also grow. And mainly, normally, those who want to even pay for it, it is not, they are not usually not lines that ordinary farmers are interested in. They, they will be like some, a certain amount of starch content or something. It's for, usually for industry. But the, the ones that the farmers grow and bring it to farmers, luckily we are public organization, so we, we eventually give it to them for free. Mm -hmm. So it's not there's there's no threat at all. There are many lines that we people we cannot give it all out because it to be even be confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that brings us to seed systems. 
how the farmers get their seeds. And they, uh, um, uh, when we say seed systems, what do we mean? Okay. So a uh, seed system is the is just the system that a country runs, okay, in order to get a good seed for 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 cultivation. Okay, so in, in, in Ghana, uh, we have talked about, the, it actually starts with the breeding process. Yes. So at, at the end of the breeding process, you, you have what you call a cultivar or a variety. So a particular, a, a particular plant, which can be described precisely and named. So it's like, it's like see me, I'm different from you. In the same way, when the breeder comes with a, a variety, it has to be distinguishable from from another variety based on its its, its characteristics. So once you you have that the characteristics, you name it, you you, you, you give it a name. So maybe I'll, I'll develop one of variety. Listen, maybe I'll do that and and, and name it Odadi. Okay, mm -hmm. that'd be nice. Odadi Oda uh, variety. So if I if I have Odadi uh, variety. It is it is I the breeder who who develop it. So I have control over the the basic seed, the mm -hmm. the, the foundation seed. Mm -hmm. So that is what we call the breeder seed. So that is in my domain. Okay. Okay. But there is another level that th these are structures that every country has. Mm -hmm. There there is another level we call the, the foundation seed. So the the breeder will now give that seed. It's usually in small quantities. Okay. to a foundation seed pro a producer. A few years ago, it, it used to be only one organization, the Ghana Grains Board, which, which is also based in Kumasi. Okay. They would now take the breeder seed and develop it in, into foundation seed. And then okay. they will now give it to seed growers. Mm -hmm. And the seed growers will come out with certified seed. And it is a certified seed that will go out to all farmers, that you, you can go to a shop and buy and buy certified seed, but because because uh, the capacity of grain development board was so limited, this is the law has changed for people in the private sector to also be able to do uh, foundation seed. So other people, you can you, you can set up a company and do foundation seed, and then you can pick the, the breeder seed from us or an investor or any organization that has developed a particular variety. Then you multiply it into foundation seed. Then there are certified seed growers all around. So some of them are just farmers who have registered to grow seed. Some of them are actual companies who have registered to grow. Then they will grow the seed we call certified seed. It is certified because once you say you want to grow seed, you have to inform the Ghana Seed Inspectorate Div Division. It's a branch mm. of MOFA. Mm. Then they will come and check your land and check whether the, the field is not diseased whether the grain is not diseased, whether the, you have been able to maintain the genetic purity, whether there are no foreign mistress, they have standards for, for, test, for checking seed. Then they will, they will put a stamp on it. In fact, they, they will give you a tag. Okay. And then the, that tag will indicate that this seed has been certified. Then it can be sold to, to, to farmers to grow. Okay. okay. But, but, mm -hmm. but that is the former seed system. Okay. In Ghana, we also have the informal seed system where the farmer saves his seed and share okay. it with, with his yes. friends and family. Okay. Now, uh, the, uh, this uh, the system you brought up, uh, the breeder seeds and then the names that you give as a breeder, is it the same name that will come up at the end as a, a seed or it changes? Because I see a lot of varieties and the names and things, but I don't really get them. The same yes, thing at the end. Yeah, that's that's a good question. So ideally, it should be the na the same name throughout. But normally, when companies come in, okay, sometimes they like to brand brand their thing to add to to to, to be identified with the with the company, but. Honestly, it, it is not su 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 supposed to be so at the level of the seed. Okay. okay, at the level of the seed, we have a national variety release and registration committee, which is a, a government authority. Mm -hmm. So once they agree on a name, everybody m must use that name. But the, the, normally, the name of the thing changes. So for, for example, we have an, a, a rice we call agrarice, which is very popular. 
Many of the rice on the market now is agra rice. The one you see on the on the supermarkets, which are Ghana rice. But then, then once once it goes from seed stage to grain stage, mm -hmm. which they will eat, then the then the company has the right to brand the, uh, with the company name. So you see the same agra rice being 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 branded as Ebiani Hene or or Copa by by RMG. Uh, branded as Nana Rice by, by another company, so it, it is their way of selling it. But at the seed level, they it, they shouldn't change the name because it is the name that has been legally given to the to the material. Okay, so they should become a Johnny, but in somewhere along the line, they should give that it is Agria uh, Rice. Yes, if, or, or no, Agria if Rice. They are, Yes, if 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 it's seed they are selling, then they don't have to change the name. Okay. But if 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 they have produced the seed and they are turning it into grain, for example, milled rice, they are they are selling, then they have the right to to give it their company name. Maybe under those small small labels, they can make, they, they can indicate that uh, this this product was made from agri rice. But that one is not a law in Ghana as of now. The, the one that we go through legal means it's when the variety is named. So you have no right to change the name of the variety as a seed. But once you turn it into grain, okay. you, you can give it your your your, your company branding. Okay. Okay. Uh, and and um, having a seed system, what, what really is the, uh, what should be the impact? What, what are you trying to get as a, bringing yeah, so out the seed system? So seed is so 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 important. It it can contribute about up to about twenty percent of the yield. Okay. okay. So if a farmer, for, for instance, gets bad seed, it it means that his yield can reduce up to about twenty percent. In fact, sometimes when the seed is not viable, you can plant acreages of field, and, and you know how planting is expensive, and, and they don't germinate. It means you have to start all over, and then you you, you have a, another complication of missing the 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 season. You, so you know, uh, agriculture is a time-bound thing. So if you grow something and it does not germinate, you are incurring mm -hmm. more cost and also danger of, of of losing your crop because the season has passed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is important to know to to make sure that you are getting the seed right. That is why in every country uh, there is a regulation on on how seeds. Are, are, are controlled and that's why in ghana for the commercial seed system after i've developed the variety i i come out with a, a breeder seed which has some standards it has to have a certain purity it has to germinate about 100 percent gem, gem, germination when it moves to when, when it moves to the foundation seed level it may have up to 98 percent uh, 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 germination level up to 98 percent purity then when it gets to the certified level, we, we lower it a bit because at that time it's a lot. So there may be one plant which is off type coming coming to mix up there. So it is because seed is so important, it contributes so much to yield, and therefore it it, it has to be regulated. Yeah, um, and then I see. Um, I, I was going to buy some seeds for uh, base. Uh, at, uh, I, I was. Uh, I think they were just shocked that uh, I had to buy all foreign seeds, especially for maize. Yeah. I, I didn't think that um, uh, get maize uh, foreign seeds as maize. Uh, does, okay, so does, does it mean uh, what's happening to us? Does it mean that you're not producing enough of uh, local okay. varieties, or how do we have so yeah. many maize? And also that it's uh, out of a government uh, sort of. Uh, seed shop okay okay so yes so we it's true that we we have imported hybrid maize varieties in the in the in in the system it doesn't mean the breeders in ghana are no are not doing their work in fact before even foreign companies can sell uh, varieties in ghana we, we have to test it for them Okay. So before before they can sell it but what what happens is that the hybrid technology requires a lot of infrastructure and an investment okay. okay so we have developed a lot of very good varieties but we need people who have a lot of who have deep deep pockets yeah. to be, to be able to take this 
uh, varieties and produce the seed, especially the hybrid, on a very large scale and get and get it to the market and get it to the market all over the country for farmers to have access to it. So like like the shop that that you you, you went to and you, you found foreign foreign uh, seeds there yeah. is because the the foreign seed there's a lot of investment back in back in it so they can they, they can they can now push the the seed to almost all the shops around so i will use this op opportunity mm -hmm. to call on Ghanaians who have money mm -hmm. to 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 invest in the local seed industry because the, 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 the varieties are there very good varieties. Mm -hmm. What is required now is, is for the investment so that it, it becomes like Coke, where at every village you, you get very good hybrid seeds, indigenous hybrid seeds to buy. That is the missing link as far as hybrid seeds are, are concerned in Ghana. We have not had people with money investing in it so that it, it gets to every shop and every every corner around around around, around the country that is the reason why you, you found you found some foreign maces on the on the market the local ones are, are also there but the truth is that we, we are not backing it with a lot of investment for it to be to, to be on the shelves everywhere mm -hmm. i i i was um uh, yeah and so i started questioning you know that uh, why are we growing this you know seeds and things like that and then i was worried about the market and um i was um again shocked that they said that oh i think the first one i did was abon Tem and some other things uh, and I said, okay oh, so this, abon this, Tem, this. actually yeah. abon Tem is our variety we, yes we, we, we developed it as here yeah. yes then we got another uh foreign i think so coming out of uh, south africa and then also okay. the uh, the buyers are saying say, uh, uh, that's uh, I didn't understand <laughs> what yeah, they meant by which that. One, the, uh, what, which the one? Foreign one? Yes, I uh, know the Ghanaian one that we got. Say, emuny, emuny I mean that it's not that tasty okay. when they they, okay, they so, grow so it. Usually so that, mm -hmm. that, uh, that's a little strange to me because yeah. mostly mostly our local varieties we we select it to the farmers. So yeah. no, normally we shouldn't have an issue too much with taste issue. The uh, the the bigger issue. We are having is for the investment for us to get it to the shelves, okay, and at and at all and, and 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 to get it in very good quali quality because because there there is also the challenge where people uh, 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 purport to sell local hybrid varieties, but they have they have not go, gone through the SOPs very well, mm -hmm. and therefore the, the quality is lower than what it's supposed to be, okay. Okay, I'm just getting to the end. Yeah, of so I was going to ask a, a question about uh, those who do like the cassava plantain yes. and contumely, yes. you know, because I know now they are doing a lot of these things in the labs where if you have a big plantation, they can produce or multiply it for you in the exactly. lab. Exactly. So are these all part of your plant breeding systems? Yes, so once the variety is developed, especially for, for, for the ones you mentioned, we call them clonally propagated crops. It means, it means you can cut a, a portion of it. You, you don't cultivate it through seed. Okay. I can cut a portion of, of the stem something and, and cultivate. So we, we do a lot of multiplication of that through tissue culture. Mm. So our lab here can do tissue culture for plantain at the, at the, at the commercial level. Mm. Yes, so we do, we do, do a lot of uh, recently, we are trying to even sign some contracts with the with the Ghana Cocoa Board. You know, they, they use a lot of plantains for yeah. for shedding of cocoa yeah. Yeah. at the initial stage. Yeah. We can do a lot of production here for for, for them. So, yes, so we, we use tissue culture to to mm. produce this uh, clonally. Because I I know that Gaek the binary uh, section exactly has exactly. been doing we a lot of cassava. And plantain yeah. and cocoa sort exactly. of. They, you know. they they also have the capacity to, to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you collaborate with such institutions, so assuming that they come out with a certain variety, which is, you know, I heard recently they won an award for this one of these cassava varieties. How then does the the I don't know the, the do you have an? No, you mean? Yeah. We, no, we, we we all work to, to, to together. So they take materials from us. 
we take my, my, my materials from us and, and we and we develop we, we try to improve it so we, we work with GAEC so GAEC usually do what we call mutation breeding mm. okay so they induce mutation by applying chemicals and, and once there's a mutation at the gene level it, it results in different different characteristics okay so whilst whilst we do mainly mainly crosses we, we cross one again uh, to the other they they the they, they their strength is using in, in, in mutation so sometimes uh, they they take our materials and apply me, 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 mutation to it and see so i i told you that the basis of plant breeding is creating creating variation mm. so the the mutation creates a lot of variance and then you can select out out of it mm -hmm. yeah Okay, I know you've highlighted some of your challenges, equipment in breed and in, in your laboratory. Uh, you have urged uh, people with deep uh, pockets, pockets to come and help with the seeds, uh, so you can yes. produce more. Uh, any any areas of improvement concerning the seed systems or something that you can add? Yes. So we we. We uh, we have to make sure that the whole value chain is is, is working very well. So the breeders do their work by by producing the, the basic seed, mm -hmm. and then the 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 people from Mofa, mm -hmm. the seed inspectorate the division, they also have to be resourced well, mm -hmm. because anybody who plans to grow seed all over the country, these people must be resourced to visit their fields. At least two times, or, or, or at least at the least they, they can do is two. So you can imagine the whole country. Mm. Their their presence must be felt everywhere mm -hmm. to be able to for us to be able to produce good, good quality seed. So re re recently they did quite well. More far they employed more more people, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So there, there there must be more investment in, in Ghana seed inspectorate division. They need resources. They need cars. They need motorbikes to to, to 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 be able to certify our our seeds. And then once once they certify the seed to the it, it goes to the the people who are who are selling seed. The the the, the investment there must also come. That's why I was asking for those in with deep uh, pockets because seed seed is a biological material mm -hmm. so even if it's it has been certified as good and then you, you just go and keep it in a in a in a shop that is very hot yep. and all that with time it yeah. will it will lose its viability That's true. so some farmer will go and buy and it will not demonstrate so we need investment along the the value chain mm -hmm. the, the breeders must be supported to continuously i have told you that breeding is product development so it's like it's like having a and uh, a Samsung A A A A twenty one. The next version, I should have A A fifty six or something, okay. a, a better version. Better. So we have, we must continuously invest in breeding. We must continuously invest in seed production, and that's where I am specially calling upon private sector because it's a money making business. You you not lose. Okay. Once you take our varieties and you and you you make sure that you, you are producing good quality hybrids, the farmers will buy it. The farmers, if, if it's quality, they buy. Yeah, Sometimes we, we think farmers are, farmers are very smart. Mm -hmm. this, this thing about uh, uh, industries having control and uh, farmers will not like to buy. No. Talk to farmers. If they know it's quality, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will spend money to buy. So once we have people, I'm calling people like Zoom Lion and all those people with deep pockets. And all, or that they're despite. Mm -hmm. We should all <laughs> enter into the seed industry. And, and and concentrate on breeder seed. You 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 get money, and and uh, and, and agriculture will, will improve in Ghana. Yes, uh, I'm hoping they are hearing us, and then we try and push it from our end to to see. Uh, um, uh, some words for our uh, students who might be hoping to take up uh, careers opportunity in the agriculture se sector, especially um, uh, plant breeding and systems. So yes. what will you say? Yes. Sir. What yes, I, I can I can assure you that it's a very good area. In in, in our days, we all wanted to become um, uh, medical doctors. 
<laughs> but I found myself in, in plant breeding. But I can I can assure you that I'm I'm a very happy man. Okay. If I die and reincarnate, I'll I'll I'll, I'll come again as a as a, <laughs> as a as a as a plant breeder. It's a it's a very good it's a it's a very interesting area. Agriculture in general. It's a very interesting area, and I'll, I'll encourage many of our young people. It's a very broad area. You, you are going to learn uh, 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 economics. You are going to learn agribusiness. You are going to learn genetics. You are going to learn bi biochemistry, physiology, agronomy, even sociology. Mm -hmm. So uh, food science. Okay. So by uh, so at the end of it, it, depending on your strength, you can branch to to specialize. In, in any of these areas. You, you can become a plant breeder, you can become a seed scientist, you can become a seed entrepreneur, and, and, that, and that's what I'm encouraging people to do, to, to set up seed industry. So there's a vast area where job opportunities that you can have when you do agriculture, and especially breeding. So I encourage you to, to, mm -hmm. to, to consider that, that as an option. Okay, so, um, you know, um, uh, that radio, uh, started about a year ago and yeah. we are trying to use uh, this platform to uh, encourage people into uh, this part of uh, the sector Greek sector and you know uh, as you are saying uh, some people some people should join uh, and invest in that area you know how how do you see uh, uh, or, or what are your impressions you know about other day radio and uh, this particular program I've been I've been following you. You have you have been doing great, and I think it's a very 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 good thing because I've been I've been worried. In fact, well, one of my friends has set up an NGO, and I'm and I'm part of the patrons. I, I work with her here, the Dr. Rabero, to encourage long, young young ladies to 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 have a career in agriculture because she she also wanted to do medicine. She was very di di disappointed. The whole of her first year at tech, she was disappointed. And then all of a sudden. The opportunities in agriculture was opened up to, to her and she's so excited so she goes back to the secondary schools to to encourage people to do to do to to, to, to do agriculture so i encourage you or that or that the radio and especially the agri paranormal you are being great last time you, you interview one of my mentors professor Dankwa. yes <laughs> so so you, you can see it yes 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 uh, I think and we are, are, and I wanted to. Add Norman Bollock has, 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 they have won the 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 Nobel Peace Prize mm. because of their work. Mm. So it is a very noble job, mm. a job that you can, you produce feed to 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 to. Feed. I think that we are losing uh, Doc. Um, the line is not very clear, uh, but let's. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Your, your line was breaking. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. So, so I was... Go ahead, yes. please. Go ahead. Did you, did you hear the part that I said one of my colleagues has formed an NGO to encourage young ladies? Yes, yes. we did hear that part. We heard okay, that. Okay, so yes. yes. Yes, so and then... So that's that's just it. So it's a big area. So like people like uh, Pro Professor Dankwa, he, he just won a, a big prize. He has been winning prizes and... and uh, uh, breeders, the, yes. there's a breeder we call Norma Bollock, very famous breeder. He he he, yes. he won the Nobel Peace Prize that Ecofiana and Co won a, a few years ago mm. because of his work in in, in, in plant breeding. So plant, plant breeding is a very noble work. We 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 feed the world. Yes, and, and yes, I, and I think it's it's, it's, it's well, something that is. And I, I encourage people to continue to listen to this program. Okay, thank you, Doc. We've run out of time. And uh, so, uh, uh, Kwame, do you have anything no, to add? Uh, no, apart from yes. Taking. So, yes. we'd like to thank you very much for spending your time with us today on Agri Panorama, and we pray that when we call on you again, you <coughs> you you respond to our invitation. Thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, th th thank you for the invitation. Yes. yes. To our listeners, anytime, anytime. this has been Agri Panorama. Uh, and our, our host today has been Kwame Makuhini. Thank you so much. Uh, I was here to just give him support. And as you can see, he managed by himself. We thank you all for listening. Hopefully you can join us next week again for another interesting topic. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that was another edition of 
Agrik Panorama. Thank you so much for making time to be part of the program. Remember, Nationwide Technologies Limited is a proud sponsor of Agrik Panorama program on Odadier Radio. Nationwide Technologies Limited distributors of Sonox Advanced Fuel Conditioner as an environmentally green product. Sonox is proven to reduce fuel consumption, reduce running costs, reduce emission, prolong the lifespan of your engine. So Nexeco takes you further, faster, and cleaner. To obtain your product, please uh, call these numbers 0540-120-694-054-1670-346. Thank you for your attention.